Hello and welcome to our module on Inferencing at the Edge. In this module, we will explore how bringing AI close to the data source is revolutionizing various industries. Edge inferencing is the process of bringing AI closer to the data sources. Imagine autonomous vehicles making a split second decision or even wearable health devices providing instant feedback like fitness tracker. It can monitor heart rate, distance, calories burned, and many more. On the other hand, smart watches like Apple Watch, Fitbit can track health matrices such as heart rate, blood pressure, oxygen level, stress level, and they can also show workout modes. Also, we have some wearable biosensors. These are self-adhesive patches that can gather information on heart rate, respiratory rate, and temperature. Also, we have smart contact lenses, which can monitor psychological information of the eyes and tear fluids. All these wearable devices can provide real-time medical diagnosis. Then we have smart factories, which can detect defects in real time. In this section, we'll dive deep into these use cases, their real-life examples, and the advantages and challenges of age inferencing. Let's start with what is age inferencing. Age inferencing is process of running trained machine learning models directly on the local devices. We already discussed that is on smartphones, sensors, IoT devices, instead of relying on remote cloud servers. By running those trained machine learning models directly on local devices, we can reduce latency, enhance privacy, and improve efficiency. Let's review some real-life examples. One prominent example is Tesla Autopilot car. It uses age inferencing for real-time processing of sensor data that helps the car to navigate and avoid obstacles. Also, Apple Watch heart rate monitoring and alert for abnormal heart rate. Also, latest Apple Watch has fall detection. Smart factories also uses each AI devices to monitor production lines and detect defects in real time. This technique called Industry 5.0, which refers to robots and smart machines working alongside with people for added resiliency and sustainability. Next, we'll review age inferencing advantages versus disadvantages. Using age inferencing, we can immediately process and response for critical time-sensitive applications. It also enhances privacy because data is processed locally and it reduces the risk of data breaches. Since less data transmitted to the cloud, it saves bandwidth and it reduces the cost of data transfer. Also, it can easily scale by adding more and more edge devices without overloading the central server. Now, in terms of disadvantages, obviously the resource constraint because edge devices have limited computational power and storage compared to the cloud server. In terms of maintenance, it requires regular updates and maintenance of distributed edge devices. Obviously, it's going to be complex because we are managing and orchestrating a large number of edge devices and which brings the complexity. Next, we'll review the language models that we can use for edge inferencing. And here we are going to compare small language models with large language models. To start with small language models, they are efficient for edge inferencing because they are lightweight and they require less computational power and memory. They are faster in terms of inferencing due to their smaller sizes. Since small language models have lower computational and memory requirement, it is good for simpler task and resource constant environments. In terms of use cases, we can use for mobile applications that is real-time text suggestion or even autocorrect feature on smartphones. Also, we can use for voice recognition in smart home devices like Amazon Echo or even Google devices. 
In terms of small language model examples, we have TinyBot. This is a smaller version of Google Bot language model. And we also have Distally Bot. Now next, we'll review the large language model side by side comparison with small language models. Using large language model, we can achieve high accuracy and it can handle complex language tasks. Large language models are capable of performing a wide range of tasks from translation to summarization. It is ideal for applications where require deep understanding and text generations. It also requires high computational and memory requirements. Now, in terms of use cases, we already know the use cases for chat GPT, Google Bot. We can use for content creation. That is, we can generate articles, stories, and reports with high coherence and relevance. We can also use a custom chatbot powered with Gen AI and which can handle complex queries and provide detailed response tailored to customer use cases. And in terms of examples, GPT-4 from OpenAI and also Amazon Titan. That wraps up this module. I hope this session helped you gain a deeper understanding and brought you one step closer to your learning goals. Thank you very much for watching and learning with us at Cloud Expert Solution. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more update, and feel free to drop any question or feedback in the comments. We would love to hear from you. See you in the next module.